Hey guys, welcome to the Indigo Second Channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over the free alternative to FL Studio, which, in my opinion, is better in some ways. And also, it's free, so anybody can start using it. And anyone can help make it better. So, let's get into this LMMS right here. I'm on the GitHub. And this is where everyone, they have issues. And then there's also people are putting in requests to change stuff to make it better. So yeah, if you have any issues that you want to fix, you can just come right here and create a new issue. And then they'll actually, if someone looks at it and they want to put the code in to fix it, they can just fix it. But yeah. right here and then the cool thing is that they have so much free stuff that you can use compared to FL Studio they have all these presets all these samples all these tutorials all these themes too you can't customize FL Studio by the way but with these you can make your you can make LMMS look however you want and make it look really sick actually so yeah let's it's really easy to download and also I'd like to add they made their website look way better recently because it used to not look this good all right but it's so easy all you have to do is download right here they have it for Linux Windows and Mac I'm on Windows so I'm just gonna click here 64 bit and yeah it's crazy and I actually, look, I have FL Studio right here, but I start, I started making beats on LMMS like three years ago, and it helped me so much just learn how to make beats and all that, and figure out, and I just recently switched to FL, but yeah, like, FL's not that much better than LMMS, there's only a few things that are better, but for making beats, LMS is pretty cool and it's it's awesome that it's free and I'm so glad that I started using it when I did yeah so after you download it you run the installer all right it's right here let's just let's open this up and then right here you can just choose any of the stuff that you want all of these these should already be good though so you don't have to change it much auto save though I would say put that like every five minutes it auto saves because it does it can crash sometimes after you're using it for a while all right let's just get into it and yeah this is how it looks like when you first start and it looks really similar to FL, not gonna lie. They have the song editor right here, which is where you put all the other all the clips together. So you have like the the samples, the beat and bass line editor, and you can drag all this around. And then also so that's right here. These three lines, that's the song editor. Which pops up like this, and you can add all your tracks here and make your song. And then the next thing is these six boxes, which this is the beat and bass line editor. So it's pretty much the same as FL. I'll just open FL so I can compare them. And yeah, check this out. So yeah, they have right here, this is the song editor. It's this big thing. Right here they have it too, but in this one they have the tracks already ready for you. But I think that I actually like this. I like this song editor better because there's less tracks and it gives you more options to just add your own tracks here. But like here, you can just place it everywhere and it can get really confusing. Like, so I like this. And then next thing right here, this is piano roll. So this is where you place your notes. And you can like, so you can like make your chords, like let's say I want this major chord. Just do it like that. But in LMMS to get there, 
it's just this piano right here and you get here it says please open a pattern by double clicking on it so that brings us here to the beat and bassline editor where you just right click and then open in piano roll and you can make your chords and also it has a lot of the same controls as FL like so when you have it on the select button if you press control it changes it to automatically just grab this stuff so you can like grab that if you want and then control C to copy control V to paste it's really similar and yeah depending on your preference like LMMS it actually looks pretty nice and since it's open source everyday people are just contributing to it finding new problems and fixing them but with FL it's only the developers that work there so even if you have some problems you can like go submit it on their website but that doesn't mean that they're gonna fix it but on this you can really just fix it yourself and then put it to you can put it right here to see if anyone wants to add it and if they like it they'll add it to the to the whole app which is pretty cool Oh damn, my mic fell. And then the next thing right here, automation editor. This is pretty much just like, if you wanna have it fade in, fade out, different effects, which you'll definitely wanna do later. And I can show you some stuff about that. And then right here, it's the effects mixer. So this is where you'd mix all your effects. It's pretty simple. So you add like a bunch of different effects and let's just say that you had like kick here kick hi-hat here and then snare and then you want to put like reverb on the hi-hat so like you just grab that reverb and there's a lot of there's a lot of stock effects here that you can grab and then you can add more too if you want any more effects than this and then let's see the next thing right here project notes that I don't think I've ever used this which is crazy I never even knew this was here but yeah you so you want to like let's say you just want to describe your project I didn't know this was here until now hey this is my project beat thing it's cool and then I want to make that really big and pink. I didn't even see, I didn't even know this was cool. I, I mean, I didn't even know this was here. It's really cool. And then next thing we have here is this controller rack. So wow, I don't even, I don't even really know what this is never used it before but it looks like if you want to make some lfos and stuff i don't know i'll figure that out and i'll talk about it in another video and then right here this is like that's make a new beat this is grab like a template or make one from template i think that's what it means this right here is i don't know all this means different stuff but i know that this means save that means export so that's like you want to export your beat this is just info so i think that'll bring you to their website probably and this is the metronome so you want to hear like that little clicking and then to keep pace with the bpm and then this is where you choose the bpm which is like how fast the song is or how fast the beat is so let's say you want to make like a chill beat like probably keep it down here or like a trap beat, it'd be around like 150. And then you can switch between if you're looking at the bars, which is like from each different block. So that's four bars, eight bars, and that's just like how you keep track of music, or you can also switch it to time. And then time signatures is right here. And that's just like the different signature of time. But usually with most beats, you're keeping it at 4-4. Four, four that's just how a lot of music is made in 
and then right here is the master volume so total volume of the whole thing so let's say that you want to like fade in your beat you would click here edit song automation and then let's say that you want to have it like fade in from for like eight bars and you probably just go like this and then also change it to instead of just being like that's like pretty much the same as press uh, as turning your automation to hold in FL. You just click here and then it makes it like smooth or like a straight line. And then you, let's just say that you want it to fade into like a hundred volume from the beginning. You just go like that. And then it'll gradually increase up to the eight bar. And then right here, this is the master pitch. So if you want to start off like really um deep and like low or you can even make it higher i use that in some of my beats and then right here this is just to look at the at how loud your sound is so let's say that's like really loud it'll be in like red waveforms but if it's just good it's gonna stay like green and yellow once you're playing it and then let's go over to this side we have instrument plugins. So this is all the different instruments and there's a lot of different plugins to use on here. But one that I use a lot in my beats is Zen Add Sub Effects. This one's really nice, really useful. And then right here, this is your project. So this is, whenever you save your beats, it's always gonna be just right here. So like all your beats will be saved here. And then samples, this is gonna be your samples. So let's say that you have like different drums and they also have a lot of built-in drums. But like all these drums you can use. And then you can also like add your own drums. I don't know if they fixed this, but you used to... Let's see. Let's see if I can just drag in some sounds. Maybe they fixed it. But you used to not be able... They didn't let you drag it in. Let's see about that. Kick. Hmm, let me try to add like the whole folder here. Yeah, see, they still don't, that's like a, the one bad thing, honestly, is that you can't just drag your sounds. And with FL, so look at FL, like, when you're right here in the overall thing, you can just come right here and grab the drum kit, drag it over, and it pops in. And that's, I really like that. But for LMMS, what you have to do is you have to, like, you have to go here, open file location, click on it, open file location, go to data, and then samples, and then you just like drag your drum kit like this. You just drag it in, press continue. Damn, my mic, my mic fell again, bro. So yeah, you just do it like that. And it's a little bit, just a little bit more work, but it works just as fine, and then after you add it there, you just press the reset button, and then it's right here. All the different sounds. And then another limitation you're going to want to be careful of is that it only does wave sounds. It doesn't do MP3. So make sure that all the sounds you're getting, keep them as a wave file because it just doesn't have MP3 support right now. These are some things, like actually, I might... I might try to contribute to their code and make it work with mp3s and stuff and then also like drag in because that's something that I would love to see happen. And then the next thing we have here is my presets. So these will be all the different like presets and sounds. So right here they already have like a bunch of presets that you can go through and this is what I usually use is all their sounds but you can make your own so if you just grab like this you can actually click on this GUI and you can make your own sounds to use and then save them as a preset here and you can, or wait <laughs> here so like you could just make your own presets in here that you can use and that's really fire i've never done it before but i know that a lot of people can if you just figure out how to use this and you mess around with the gui and you can like really just change everything make some really cool sounds in this and next thing is my home if you want to just search around your computer for stuff so i guess actually yeah if you went to your downloads you could just grab the um you don't even need to so 
So like, let's say that you just download something, it's in your downloads, and you just wanna bring it over here. You can just do it right here with this little My Home Searcher. Find those clips that you want to make a beat with and then put it just like, literally, let's find the one that works. It's WAV file, so I just wanna drag it here. And then you have it. Next thing here is, oh yeah, my computer. So yeah, my home, my computer. So yeah, that's actually really cool. So you don't even really, you don't need to put it over here in my samples, but I like to do that just to keep it a lot more organized. But you could definitely just use this browser to find the drum kits. But yeah. Next thing, file. That's just pretty basic, like save your tracks, export. Export tracks, that's gonna be like all the different, all these different tracks, so let's say that you have like, your like drums here, and then your sample here, and you wanna export them all separately, you do that there. And then export MIDI, that's like, that's all the notes in the piano roll. So like all these, if you wanna export those, just to send to someone, you can do that. Edit. That's just how you get to settings, so you can change all these settings if you ever want to. And then tools, view, view, so yeah, if you ever, if you want to just not see all that stuff. Or also, like, if you just, let's say that you just X out and then you're like, oh no, where do, how do I get back to my editor? Just click on view and then click on these. Get all your stuff back. And then, I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, you could use these buttons here. Now that I'm thinking about it, you could definitely just click these, but you can also click view, which is cool. Change the volume. Oh yeah, change this as the DBs. That's cool. Smooth scroll. That's nice. Enable note labels and piano roll. Oh yeah, that's actually really useful. So if you want to see the different like notes in the piano roll, you just click that. And then you'll be able to just know what you're doing. So like, let's say that you want to make like F major, you just go like this. Another thing you can do is right here you can grab like a pre-made chord, which is pretty cool on the, right here in the piano roll. So let's say that you want like major seventh, you just grab one here and then you can like just mess with it however you want. And then if you want to stop that, just go to no chord. And the cool thing about this is that you can like you can just easily mess with it too after you place it. So say you want to like place it, but then you want to delete this middle note. Or you want to like bring that up like there. It's pretty easy to do. And a thing about FL that I noticed is actually when you do that, when you grab one of these, you grab one of those pre-made notes that they have. And then you want to edit one, like it edits the whole thing. So like you can't just delete one in the middle or it deletes the whole thing. And I don't, I don't like that. Maybe there might be a setting to fix that, but I haven't seen it yet. And then tools, the plugin browser. So that's just to add more plugins and to like view the ones that you have. And then help, this is just, yeah, show their help and look at their about. Oh cool, yeah, and th it's just all the different people that helped make this a thing. Translating, oh yeah, look, and they're looking for more people to translate to different languages. So, that's sick. So yeah, that pretty much covers everything about LMMS, and also, I tried to do some comparisons to FL to show you. But yeah, if you guys want any other videos in the future, please press the like button and subscribe and also comment what you want me to talk about. I've been using LMMS for like, yeah, like three years already. So I know a lot about it and I've been making a lot of beats with it. I can also do like tutorials on like how to do stuff that you'd want to do in FL. Do that in LMMS and all that. So yeah. Please press the sub button, like, and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.